Hello everybody and welcome back to the Mega Modded Dead Cod Plus series. We're gonna go in and try and rebuild the streak. It's 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 dying at the minute. It's not doing well. I've been dying a lot. But I know we did Eden recently, but Eden is just always a lot of fun. We did all left side, so let, let's try and do um Dark Path. Wait, no, that is Dark Path. Okay. Um I guess we just do light path this time then. Yeah, I'm, I'm never going to say no to Eden. Eden's a lot of fun. We get PhD off the bat, which is pretty good. And we get the play... We get the... Um, I forget the handicap thingy uh, sign. Handicap sign. I can't remember the exact name of the item now. But essentially what it does is we drop it down and any enemies within that area get briefly slown. Um, and they also drop burns, apparently. Okay. We've also started with a pretty decent trinket here as well. Um, but yeah, they uh, get briefly slown and they uh, take more damage. It's actually very, very good. Yeah, there you go. Another trinket there that I don't think I need. I'm actually pretty happy with the gilded key. Um, and... Ooh. Does that always spawn a golden bomb? Because if it does, that is a strong boy. That's a lot of spiders. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to try and... Uh, Utilize this golden bomb to the best of my ability here and uh, find myself some good stuff. I'm not going to blow up every single bomb in existence. I'm not going to be quite that uh, thingy about it. But I am going to try and get myself some extra pennies and so on here and there. There is definitely some areas in which I can gain benefit here. So why wouldn't I? You see? Do you see what you get for doing your due diligence? My lord. My lord. Today's question of the day, I, I apologize I don't remember the user's name that suggested this, and if you are the person that suggested this, please do let everyone else know in the comments. But I, I actually got some question of the day suggestions, and I love that. If people want to give me more question of the day suggestions, please do, because honestly, thinking of one every day is not easy. Um, it's, sometimes it's easy, sometimes it's not. It, dep it depends on what I've been doing that day. Today I've been doing relatively nothing, just working, so nothing's popping straight into my head here. Um, thank you. So nothing, yeah, nothing's jumping out immediately. So my question today is, uh, like I said, from one of the users in the in the uh, comments, basically saying, if you could create a potion that could do anything and give it to someone, what would be, I will definitely take Cursed Eye. Um, what would be that potion and who would you give it to? If you could only give it to one person and you could make it do whatever you want, good or bad, I'd be interested to know. Because I kind of was thinking about this for my question. It's a little bit of a difficult one because I feel like... This, isn't this the room that gives you nothing? I'm pretty sure it is. Um, yeah, yeah, it is. I, I, it's a kind of a difficult one because there's just so many routes to go. By the way, by the way, before anyone even dares suggest it, I was actually kind of talking to Never Named about this just a moment ago because I just did some recording with Never Named. Um, and he was, he'd been playing Persian Crafter, so we're kind of talking about that a little bit, and he was saying that in that game, creating a love potion, that was a dumbass hit. Oh, I got hit twice by it. Ah, that was so stupid. Um, creating a love potion in that game is actually a negative action. It, it, it like, it, it, it counts as an evil action, and it makes all the sense, because creating a love potion is super fucking creepy. So if anyone suggests love potion, reevaluate your life a little bit, because you should not want to make... A potion that makes someone love you. That's creepy. That's weird. But yeah, like, I think it depends. If you could literally only give it to a single person, I think i probably make one that just makes people, like, it just, like, cures mental illness in terms of, like, depression, anxiety, and probably give it to Never Named because he's a person that suffers with that a lot and it's not nice to see. So... It'd probably be something along those lines. But if you want to go a, sli a slightly more, like, route of... A slightly more selfish route, I'd say just, like, find someone that's, like, in charge of some of some big conglomerate. Like, like fucking Jeff Bezos. Or ob obviously, it'd be a need to be someone I had access to. But some someone like that. And then just give them a potion that makes them, like, your absolute best friend in the world and give you everything for free. Because that would be super useful. <laughs> um, but there's, there's a lot of different routes you could take. Obviously, there's like, you could be more selfish, more evil, uh, more kind and caring. It really depends. I mean, I'm, I'm sure some people out there have 
people in their family that are uh, ill, either mentally, physically, or just in general, and would like to give them something similar to, to help them out. But that's kind of the first thing that jumps to mind. Um, and obviously, I have just been speaking to Nevernames, so... Um, yeah, it makes, it makes a lot of sense. Ooh, I've made mistakes here. Uh, it makes a lot of sense to me, that one. But there's, there's a lot of different routes you could go about it. A lot and a lot. But that's kind of the first thing that jumps to my mind. Relax. That's the most people I've ever got out of a relax, I think. Yeah, by the way, I don't know. I don't really know if I if I fancy myself a, a, a cursed a cursed eye enjoyer. Basically, the only reason I take it now is because there's one person um, that watches my videos, and you know who you are, that always um, mocks me for, for not liking it or not taking it. And um, I, uh, I, I like to prove them wrong from now on and always take it. Holy mantle. That is going to make Cursed Eye a lot more enjoyable to use. A lot more enjoyable to use. Um, this is some good stuff. Baby, this is some good stuff. Right. Uh, both of these are pretty amazing. Okay. So I think we definitely grab this. And I would very much like the latter as well. But I don't know if we'll be able to get it. We'll see. I'm liking the dude got- Ooh, hello. We got some really good stuff going on right now. And I kind of forgot that Keeper's Sack is making us crazy. Oh, yes. I don't know how this works with my- uh, with- with Cursed Eye. I'm gonna guess it- Oh, no. It does. <laughs> I was gonna say I'm gonna guess it doesn't. No, it does work with it. And it- it works in a way that I don't know whether to be happy about or not. The fire rate seems to be crazy good. And it seems to be- mm, The further away- that we are, the, the longer the charges it does. This is a pretty interesting little synergy. This is just me once again. I do this constantly. This is a bad idea. Yeah, holy mantle, but it's fine. Uh, I do this constantly. I, I like to take items that um, people consider bad or consider never takes. Because a lot of them I actually think are okay. There is some of them that I will wholeheartedly agree with people on. But Marked is definitely one that I completely disagree on. I think Marked is, um... I can't believe this works on bosses. That's so crazy. Uh, I think Marked is just one of those ones that's incredible. I'm gonna go for, uh, Angel Deals this time and try and do Mega Certain. Because I don't... Yeah, we haven't done Mega Certain yet. Okay, give me enough money to get three room charge. But I, I like... I like items like this together. They're fun. Uh, I doubt... I doubt, unless we get a lot more bombs... Or, uh, also we can go to our cash room free, or a lot more money from, like, fires and stuff. Don't walk directly into things, you idiot. It's stupid. But yeah, we can get to our cash room for free now. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Yes! Now that is some clutchity, clutchity, clutch. That is, that is awesome. I can't believe we managed it through them means. That, that's kind of crazy. Now... I think I should buy this and see what we get here. And then why not buy this as well? I, I can't remember what the Empress does for us. Let's drop it and find out. Um, gives you Horror Babylon and a random Demon Familiar for a minute. Eh, it's okay. But we are in a good position now. Our Handicap sign is going to be very, very useful. Um, sadly, we can't blow that up. And yeah, let's just keep on going down. I'm loving this. I am loving this. I really should have gone to, uh, down to the other floor. Ooh, hello. Down to the other floor um, to just to blow up the mirror to get more reflected items because Holy Mantle is the perfect opportunity to make good use out of reflecteds. Oh, uh, my handicap thing didn't work just then. Oh, uh, I, think, I think it just didn't place it correctly. I think I pressed space bar like, as I was opening the chest and it just didn't register. Beautiful. I really like the setup we got going on. This is a lot of fun. But yeah, I think I think the idea of like the, the crafting potion thing is, is kind of interesting. Because it's like, it's just, obviously not everyone is going to be truthful about their intents if they actually had this ability. Because some people out there, I'm not saying any of you that, watched this that are watching this video, but some people out there might want to do things that are a bit less, uh, a bit more sinister, should we say. Um, and it, if people actually ans answered it honestly, it'd be interesting to find out more of people's true intentions. But my, my two immediate thoughts were either help a friend in need or make myself a lot of money slash get myself a lot of free stuff. 
<laughs> they are like the two immediates. Because like, if you get yourself a lot of free stuff, you could also get your friends a lot of free stuff and help your friends that way, or help your family that way. Can, can you... Taking your sweet ass time there, game. Lusty blood is definitely the way to go here. But yeah, I might as well just use this, like, pretty much all the time. On a three-room charge with jumper cables, we're going to be getting, uh, like, it recharged up very often. I need to make sure I keep my mark close to me so I do short bursts rather than long. That seems to be the better way of doing things. I will check my shop again here just because buying items is better for us. Even just buying soul hearts, that gave us a range upgrade. Not exactly the most important thing in the world, but good to have it nonetheless. I love it when you keep the, the marks really close and you're just like, your fire rate is just insane. <laughs> I don't, like, can we have faster fire rate than this? Like, if we get a fire rate upgrade, does that actually increase the fire rate of doing that? I don't actually know. This did, did work on this boss, nice. Beautiful. I like the burn pieces too, that's kind of an interesting touch on this. Ooh, what's this? An apology from whatever mod that is. I have not heard of oh, that. I think this is from the um, bits and pieces mod. Get a quick fading plus two tears up whenever you kill an enemy. Ooh, that's pretty good. That seems really strong. Um, it it, it kind of seems like that devil delight in the skull that gives you the quick fading damage increase. I like the idea behind that. I'm interested. I am downeth to clowneth with that. I wonder what the fire rate bonus is going to be like. But like I said, is fire rate actually going to matter to us is the question, really. Okay, no, it, it, it seems to be it seems to be doing a, a decent job of making a difference here. Dude, quick fading. Quick fading. Have you seen how long it takes to fade? <laughs> That's a lot less quick fading than I was expecting. I was expecting it to be gone in under a second. Okay, well, this is nice. And I think it resets every kill, too. Damn it, we're all out of keys. Oh, no, I blew up my donation machine. I still absolutely love the, uh, the idea to never use my donation machine. It's, ma it's made me a much more honest Binding of Isaac player. <laughs> I keep forgetting I have Holy Mantle. Damn you, game. I'll come back when I have keys. I want to open the filing cabinet. The filing cabinet seems to have a decent chance to give me items, or at least the chance might be the same as golden chests. I just seem to get items out of them fairly often. So I, I really would like to uh, grab that. Why am I gaining damage? Oh, Lusty Blood. I was like, why the hell am I gaining damage here? Yeah, I forgot I had Lusty Blood. I have a lot of good stuff going on this run. Oh god. I can't aim this guy properly. I'm just being stupid. I don't think I'll be going to that dice room, really. Golden Penny. This is a horrible Golden Penny. Not a fan of this. Oh my god. At least I have Holy Mantle, so if I get hit, I can just get myself out of the room. This is also a very long-lasting Golden Penny, which is rare. Damn you. I mean, more money is good for later, but I would have preferred to just buy some stuff. Steam sale. Now, that's pretty interesting. I don't know if I... Would I have preferred more money or steam sale? Because steam sale is actually going to lower the amount of stats we get for purchasing things. So, I don't know. Right, keep going back. I'm hoping I can get a few more keys here. Because I want to open that filing cabinet and we've got a bunch of golden chests here. That's because of the gilded lock, that is. Sadly, the gilded lock isn't increasing the amount of keys we get at all, so... It's not all good. I didn't think that would touch, but I thought... Give it a go. This... This is a lag machine. Uh, what, um, Why did Cursed Eye just spawn in this corner? Did it remove Cursed Eye? What? I'm confused. It seems to have removed Cursed Eye. I want Cursed Eye back. 
I liked having Cursed Eye. Okay. Um, for some reason, I'm not allowed to have Cursed Eye with this item. Like, look, I pick it up. Oh, wait, no, there you go. That was very strange. It, for some reason, removed Cursed Eye and would not let me pick it up for the duration of the room. I'm... Maybe that's something to do with those rooms, because... Ah, uh, okay, I get it, I get it, I get it. I think it's a it's a cheese prevention mechanism. So, essentially, they don't want you to be able to steal the item, like, full card out. So, to prevent you from teleporting out, it'll make you drop any teleport cards you have or any teleport items that you have. And Cursed Eye is technically one of those. So, it's, that's, that's kind of an interesting solution, I guess. Um, I wouldn't have expected it to do that, I'll be honest, but... Not a bad thing. Uh, yeah, I'll open that as well. Yes, two keys, two keys, two keys. Right, let's go. But the uh, pr pr pris prismatic, whatever it's called. Where the hell's this golden chest gone? Excuse me? Oh, Kess the Maze. Kess the Maze moved it and I don't know where to. I'm going to go on the search for it. There it is. Yes, that's what I was looking for. And we got a sun card there as well. Probably just use that straight away on the new floor. Let's boogie on down. I forgot I hadn't killed you yet. I'll be honest. Oh my god, the players card. It's so good. I also want to try and do boss rush. I know that we've already done it. Angel deal. Creatine powder is incredible. Yeah, don't get teleported out, please. And, yeah, we're down we go. I kind of want to make Boss Rush mainly because I installed a new mod. So those of you might know that I have the ex I used to use the expanded Boss Rush mod. Which added in a few bosses like Baby Plum and stuff. But now, I've got a new mod that basically adds all the missing bosses, including the Repentance Floor bosses. I don't think every single mo uh, one appears. It's not like it's going to add additional waves or anything. But it adds the chance for them to show up too. Which I really like the idea behind. It's going to make boss rush a lot harder because especially with the attack chance for eternal bosses to appear it's going to be pretty tricky but i think boss rush should be a difficult unlock it should not be something we find easy spawns three random hearts okay we're doing just fine on these fellas Oop, that guy gave me a black heart for some reason. I think that must have been my uh, mystery buddy. Oh, we were going to pop uh, the sun card, weren't we, here? So let's just pop it in here. I don't need your hecking kill switch. I'm glad I popped that because I probably wouldn't have gone down this way to start with. Better off going to the item room early. I kind of do want to play that beggar there. Honestly, yes, I'll take it. Uh, I, I genuinely don't know what stats it gave me there. It did give me a heart, which makes me think it lowered my fire rate or damage. Got stone bombs there. Interesting. The magician. Let's just use the magician now. I like stone bombs. Some of them are pretty cool. Let's check them out. Wah! One of the anti birth items that was unfortunately cut, but it is back to stay. Got a mini boss over this way. I really like having Cursed Eye with this setup. It makes it so much better. Which is something I never thought I'd hear myself say. But there you go. Look at that. Beautiful. And a health up as well. I'll take it. Air Wars. Uh, we can probably use Air Wars in this next room here. Let's just stop firing real quick. Uh, I want to quickly grab that. And then put it here. This should give us a crawl space. Air Wars became so much better with the shovel update. Which is good because Air Wars was kind of bad. Uh, Air Wars was. Uh, Leprosy of course isn't great. Akeldama also wouldn't have been... Amazing either. But, hey her. Right, let's keep moving. This room annoys me, so I'm just going to do my own thing. I have rocks too. <laughs> the fly just can't get past this guy. That's so funny. Okay, so it's not always a golden bomb. Good to know. I, w I was thinking that would be absurd. Ah! What the hell happened then? I think the, the rock pushed the bomb. Oh, that was weird. Uh, yeah, it's not always a golden bomb. That's good to know. I just got extremely lucky. If it was always a golden bomb, that room would be a bit too saucy.
Beautiful. Oh, golden key at the minute as well, so let's open that up. For seven seconds, if you lack red health while you rege uh, regenerate it, also gain. Okay, that's kind of good. Like, not, not for now. I don't, I don't think I need it, but I like the idea behind that. Ow. Holy Mantle has saved my ass on many an occasion this run. I'm liking it. Okay, got an extra soul heart there. Shock, please sell us some goods. Okay, Bible, obviously we don't care about, but this is a pretty good shop for us. We can potentially purchase many a thing. I think, I think I can... I'll give myself a level 4 Q and Meat Boy and some damage. I like the idea behind that. In fact, let's buy that as well, just as a little bit of a top meal. Accidentally missed out on deep pockets there because I'm an idiot, but I think we're okay with it, to be honest, in the long run. Quickly go and use Mysterious Gift here and see what secret room item we can get. Or lump of coal, or the poop. Cracked orb, not great. Not great. It's not terrible, but it's not great. Right, keep moving. We missed out on Diplopia there, but we did get Blue Map, which I'm pretty happy about. Ta-da! This has been good stuff. This has been very good stuff. This room again, evil. But Humbling Muddle's good. I just, I'm annoyed we missed out on Deep Pockets, though. But the interesting idea between Gilded Key plus, um, plus Pay to Play is quite nice. Don't need as many, as many keys anymore. And that's going to be quite, quite the combo for us. Look at that. Just that's obscene. <laughs> we got perfection. I was just saying how good Gilded Key with this would be, but we have Holy Mantle, which makes me think we can keep perfection for a reasonably good amount of time. So, this is a difficult one. It'd be nice if we could hold both, because then we'd get more golden chests, but I don't think there's a way we can do that. This is tricky, because I could lose Perfection. I'm going to gamble and say Perfection is probably better, because we've got Holy Mantle right now. But it is a strong gamble. It might not be. I could I could lose it as easily as, easily as I picked it up, if I just mess up a room. This is such a strong run. I think the main thing that's made this run as good as it is is um, keep a sack. We've gained so many stats out of keep a sack. Keep a sack is just a really good item. Faded Polaroid. Could use the faded Polaroid to go to, to go to the beast easier, but I don't think we particularly need to do that. We are going light path this time, if I remember correctly. I don't even need to use that in regular rooms anymore. We're killing them so quickly. Literally doesn't matter. More bombs. It's lovely. Wavy cap. Oh god. See, I don't I do I do kinda like wavy cap, but I also don't want to take it because um I was told just the other day by uh BD1P that he had a run with Wavy Cap where he almost passed out because of the, the visuals making him so motion sick. And it's like, eh, I've never had that happen to me before, but I don't want to take the chances. And also we've we've got a good setup right now. Please, please be a real shot. It is. You bastard. It literally gave me the thing that I wanted on the last floor. D doesn't matter. <laughs> you beautiful, beautiful, beautiful thing. We just got Sigil of Baphomet. This thing's insane. I don't actually know. In fact, let's check if the golden version does anything. In fact, I'm pretty sure it doesn't. Um, Notes. Synergies. Okay, I don't think it, it, it extends the duration by having it gold, but it's a very good trinket to get nonetheless. That is gonna that is gonna keep our um, holy mantle alive and subsequently our perfection alive significantly longer, I would say. And I like the sounds of that. I like the sounds of that. 
I mean, I might as well grab that. Gemini, just chilling in there. Okay. The world, why not? Don't know why Gemini was in there like that, but I will not be upset about that at all. But I've got I've got a nice little day lined up now. I'm, uh, I've got a few more Isaac recordings to do, and my backlog has gotten a little weak, so I need to rebuild it somewhat. But uh, I've just finished rewatching all of Stranger Things, uh, ready for the season four to re ready for season four to come out. And season four just came out, homing. Oh boy, that's incredible. Uh, season 4 just came out, so now I'm uh, I'm raring to go. I'm going to go watch some after this episode with my girlfriend, and it's going to be very, very nice. That's kind of interesting with Herming. I don't think we need it. Okay. That's a bit more luck, I guess. There's some spoilers. Oh, secret room. Didn't even pay attention to that. Excuse me. Don't need to go for that. I do love the fact that the updated pay to play to basically work with everything that has a lock. That was a good idea. I will check out these other rooms just in case. I doubt they're going to be of any value to me, but I will check them out. Oh, I mean, this cash room is pretty valuable, I suppose. Speed up. Another black heart, because why not? And away we go. Right, last room. Damn it, I missed the last bloody thing. Okay, let's go. With herming and stuff now, we are off to the races and game is playing flawlessly. I found that rebooting my PC just before recording Isaac seems to get rid of most of the lag. I don't know why that is. I don't know why that would be, but it works. So I'm not going to complain. I keep forgetting I've got the stopwatch too. I keep forgetting like everything slowed down. I didn't make boss rush because I wasn't thinking about it. I, I kind of wish that I did. Um... Hmm. What's what's this active item called again? Give Handy Handicap plate card placard. Handicap placard. Uh give I just want to show off the new boss rush, so I'm going to. I know that, like, this, 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 all this is doing is making things harder for me anyways. Um, I mean, I did just get spun out of it, but more shot speed is good. But, like, yeah, this isn't exactly a huge advantage for me. I just want to show off the potentially, like, new and interesting stuff in boss rush. Like this, look. we got a mini boss in here this time. My lord. I think I'm okay for that, thank you. What are you doing over there, sir? We need, do you know what would be good? On top of all this, piercing. It's an angel. I and mean, we these are champion versions as well, which is even better. We might, be, we might be able to get to see some champion repentance bosses from the mod. That'd also be really cool. I don't know if that'll actually work with this, because that is a mod in itself, but... What the hell died there, and how? I think it's just because I've got herming and a fuckload of range. That's one really good thing as well about... Um, the Keeper's Sack. Oh, hello, a double soul heart. That's from, that's from a mod. Um, about the, uh, the the Keeper's Sack is you do... Oh, hell. You do get a ridiculous amount of every stat. So if you have a run that benefits from a lot of luck, you actually get to utilize it. And when you've got Herming plus a lot of luck, it benefits quite heavily. Because I can shoot across the entire room. I can literally just sit here doing th this spray shot thing. And it'll just hum across the entire room. Like that. Beautiful. But yeah, as you can see, there's like mini bosses and stuff in here now. As additional waves. It's pretty cool. 
Oh god, we lost our holy mantle. We could lose perfection here if we're not careful. Do you know what I haven't been doing? I haven't been putting these down. I should just put both of these down in the spawn locations. That would be... Oh no, perfection's gone. Big sad. I didn't. Ex I thought that guy had died. That's why I didn't like move at all. Look, it's the siren, and I think it's a champion siren as well. Yeah, yeah, it's a champion version. That's that's so cool that it works with that mod. Okay, this is top tier. This is absolutely top tier. I love this. This mod is great. You will see no complaints from me. Yeah, and then you get like multiple different mini bosses and stuff. I think it's so cool. This is this is to me true boss rush. Oh, this guy can drop items. Hell yeah. Oh, we got clutch in here too. So I don't actually know if it adds any like I don't know if it adds new waves in terms of the amount of waves you're fighting. I, I'm actually not 100% sure. Clutch, where are you? There you go. There you go, fella. Ooh, uh, this guy's having uh, a bit of a moment, and I'm not sure why. I'm un un unable to damage the heart for a second there. Okay, now I am, now I am. I thought it was bugged then. Okay, I think now I can damage the mask, right? Nope, not quite, not quite. The heart's still kicking. M remember as well, the Repentance bosses now have boss armor with this mod too, so this is even harder. I, I love this. This is, this is, this is... I have an absolutely ridiculously overpowered run right now, but this is true boss rush right here. And then we have a champion version of this guy as well. It's all sorts of cool. Please go and download this mod if you want a, a harder, more, va uh, more varied boss rush. There you go. And we got Kernhead out of it. Where's our world card exactly? Our world card is in here somewhere. There it is. Cool. That was that was that was really interesting. I did lose my uh, thingy, unfortunately, my beautiful perfection, but it was worth it. I, I mean, I got spun. I lost perfection. I think that's a decent enough trade, right? I've al I've already said as well. I feel like if I'm doing something that people would class as cheaty, but I it makes my run harder, then who cares? And anyways, who cares? <laughs> this isn't a game I'm playing competitively. It's not online against anyone, so. Who cares anyways? I don't really know if uh, Meat Boy's been that useful, I'll be honest, but he's here. Did we do Hush last time? We did. We did We did Hush and Delirium. So we don't need to do those. Hello, sir. Although Hush might be a good idea just to, just to buy more things. Just to have a shop. Okie dokie. Not much we can do about that. Come into the placard. Oh my lord. I don't know why when he gets close to death he does that, but it's pretty funny. Okay, yeah, nice. Good, good. Okay, I think we'll try and keep our, uh, our I'm Drowsy for Mega Satan, because that'll make him an absolute pushover. We'll see, we'll see. We'll see where the run takes us. There you go, just place this down, let everything come to me. Uh, yeah, I really like the fact that it makes burns in the area, because it makes enemies like that chase after you a bit easier. it through. Ooh, I've never, I've not seen a champion version of these guys yet. And I never will. <laughs> the eternal champion version of that guy is gone. Okay. I think we're just about near the boss now. Pin, where are you? There you go. And we haven't been teleported once yet, though. Uh, with, what's it called? That's nice. We haven't been teleported once yet with, um... Cursed Eye. But I think that's just because Sigil of Baphomet means that we just can't get hit. Like, ever. 
I'll say that and get hit immediately, won't I? Nope. This should be the boss. Or this should be the, the way to the boss, at least. No pinny pinnies. There you go. Yeah, the, 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 the placard is maybe a bit too strong. <laughs> I, I, maybe it's just because I've got it on such a quick charge that it's making it feel so strong. I mean, I've just got a ridiculously strong build anyways. I am going to do Hush. There's, there's just... I feel like there's no reason not to. I have such an advantage against him right now. Safety bombs. Place bombs will not explode until the player leaves. Anti-grav. I, I, I just don't know how that would work. So I'm interested. I don't think it does. I think it just gave us fire rate and that's it. Plus one speed, increase damage the more. Yeah, that sounds kind of good. Go with that. Crawl space already. I don't know what happens if I fall down there. Spawn three random items. Um, okay. We've already got Keeper Sack. What the hell does Chocolate Milk do in this situation? Is this good? I don't know. I'm confused. <laughs> That's interesting. So I guess we're not fighting Hush. Alright then. <laughs> Strange, but okay. No hush for us. Wait, that's going to make us go down though. I want to go up. The whole point of this was to go up. I guess we're going down. Fair enough, game. You're cheeky, game. You're cheeky, but it is what it is. Oh, also, Tech Alpha is going to be insane here. This thing's already really good with high damage. It's even better with Herming. It's, it's, it's pretty much incredibly busted with Herming, so... Should go to that cash room there. Yeah, look at that. Ooh, and we got Crystal Key now as well. I forgot about that. Oh my god. Why am I able to walk through these without taking damage? Uh, it was, I think it was Sigil or Baphomet doing that. My lord. This was a wild ride. Black heart there. Thank you. At least we can still do Mega Satan. That's a, that's a really interesting uh, trapdoor room, though. I wish I could have gone to my shop first just to get some more stats. But I didn't exactly need them. But yeah, that's, that's, that's a really cool idea. I like that a lot. Whoever designed that, props to you. That's interesting. There's an actual, like, proper risk to falling. Ah, oh, I buggered that up. Whoopsie. And also, it's kind of like, it's a risk, but also it's a bit of a reward. Because if you know it does that, then you can utilize it. And go down there, like, at the end of the floor to get an extra item. Isaac's Tomb. It's only going to be useful for one floor, but I'll take it. Okay, where is the boss? Oh my god, Tech Alpha. You dominate every run that you're in. I think Mega Satan's going to get absolutely destroyed. I don't know, was Chocolate Milk a good idea? Chocolate Milk plus Anti-Grav on this, was, was they, were they a good pickup? I, I think they were fine, considering Tech Alpha is here. Okay, nice. He's dead too. 
Very beautiful. And let's check what our chests give us. Or let's not, because the game's crashed. Okay. Ugh. Well, that was a bit shit. I forgot that I had that I had the Polaroid, not the negative. Um. Anyways, that's. Hmm. That's ruined my plans a little bit, that has. <laughs> so I unlocked nothing that run. Oh, well, I guess. I apologize. I hope you guys enjoyed nonetheless, and I will see you guys in the next one.